Hello, Levi from the Martin Brothers here. Wanted to talk about the new Canon camera that was released today, the Canon C700. Yeah. They call me C plus seven, but you can call me seven, turn your engines on and keep them revving. So this is a replacement for the C500 which the C500 was the big brother to the C300. And at first the response was negative about this camera. That it, people said that it was overpriced, that it had the exact same specs as the Blackmagic Ursa Mini, and that Canon was just overcharging for it. Now, I'm not saying that's not the case, because that may very well be the case, but I still think that it's something to wait until the camera has been released, and that people have been putting footage out there from this camera because Canon does have a very special way of being able to present an image through a camera and I think that that's something that I really owning a C100 I've really come to appreciate that even though it doesn't shoot 4k even though it doesn't do slow motion um, or anything higher than 30 frames a second it is still a special camera because it has a very very nice image like a very beautiful image and I think that's something that is invaluable you can't put that on the spec sheet. But when it comes down to the specs of this camera, I, I think they're kind of par for the field, maybe a year or two ago, and that there are cameras that are pushing the boundaries further right now. But I feel that Canon in the cinema line is someone that doesn't necessarily trailblaze it, but they come out with a system that's very consistent, that when you use it is very consistent, it's very dependable. And I think that's part of their reasoning for not wanting to push this camera to do 6K or 7K or 8K. I think that they're they're able to be somewhere that's comfortable for the market, that the market's very comfortable in releasing 4K cameras, now 4.5K cameras, but they're able to make a system that is very dependable, that is not going to have any quirks or issues uh, right off the bat. And you could say that the RED cameras that shoot 6K don't have quirks or issues, but I still think there's an issue right now that there aren't monitors that support 6K. Uh, footage that have a 6k resolution well, there are monitors but you know there's not normal monitors that per, that give you give us the ability to view a 6k image that being said i have shot 6k footage before it is really cool and it gives you a really good peace of mind for in post for uh, being able to reframe a shot or if you uh, one time we needed to do a a push in and the situation we were in didn't allow for it so we just did a digital push in and it worked so my thoughts on this camera overall are that they are specs that I think should be par for the course for a camera of this price point. They're definitely on the low end of what you would expect out of a camera at this price point, but I think they're acceptable. But I think that Canon definitely, it has to blow it out of the water when it comes to functionality and image quality and actual, the image look. It really has to do that because this is a camera that's really playing it safe. It's not trying to push too many things, but it's also just trying to keep up. But I definitely think this is a camera to keep an eye on, but not necessarily get excited. I, I'm not going to get excited about it. So, but I think it's it's something that is something to keep an eye on because it is a new player in the market. And it is something that uh, Canon should be doing, should be taking a step forward. And even though this is a small step, this is still a step forward from the C500. Now, from a price point standpoint, is it worth $28,000? I wouldn't say that right now. It doesn't make me try and start selling some gear to try and save up for it, but it doesn't necessarily make me say, well, that's not worth it. You know what I mean? I think the bottom line is wait till Philip Bloom gets his hands on one and then we'll decide whether or not it's a good camera. That's all I have. I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to put it out there that, you know, this isn't that crazy for Canon to put this out there and, and expect that price point, but I do think it's something to keep an eye on, so that's my suggestion. Yeah, they call me C plus seven, but you can call me seven, turn your endings on and keep them revving. Was born in the 10th month, one seven, brought into this world with the black curls. Yup, my mama told me I'd be trouble with the girls, but I'm not, only got one, got my head in a swirl. Feel like I opened up an oyster, pulled out a pearl, and sold that thing for my money for my girl.